In this video, I'm discussing seven autism books that you need. These are my top picks coming up. Hey guys, welcome back to the Aspie World. My name is Dan. I have autism, ADHD, OCD, and dyslexia. I make weekly videos on this type of stuff. So if you're new around here and you'd like to learn more, remember to hit the subscribe button by clicking on the notification bell. And also, if you're watching over on Facebook, make sure to hit that like and follow button to see daily videos from me. In this video, guys, I'm going to be discussing seven books and some that I've never even seen anyone else talk about about autism and how I think these are going to help you in your life. And if you're a parent, then they're definitely going to help you. Before I get started, you know that on Instagram, I ask you to ask me questions questions and feature you guys in a video just like this. So if you want a chance of getting featured in a video just like this, head over to Instagram, follow me and put the notification bell on so you'll be alerted when I ask you to ask me questions and you may be in a video just like this. Okay, the first question is from Invisible Spectrum Life and they said, do you find it hard to relate to other Aspies ever? Um, I don't think I find it hard to relate to other people on the spectrum. I feel like uh, I have good rapport with other people on the spectrum because we have similar interests. Okay, the next question here is from Samantha Rise, Rees 2 and they said, can you make a video with some tips for parents of kids for autistic kids, what to do slash not to do, love your channel. Um, yeah, absolutely. I am gonna be doing a whole series on like um, parent hacks uh, for parents of kids who are on the spectrum. Um, I started a series about parents who are on the spectrum, so this next series is gonna be all about like parenting kids on the spectrum. Oh, also give this video a like if you're excited for that video. Okay, the next question here is from Dr. Hu Vian uh, and 74, and they said, do you think that being on the spectrum plays a part in determining one's gender identity. I don't think so. I feel like gender identity is what you're born with, it's who you are. So it's like, yeah, you know, I don't think that really plays a role in that. Okay guys, so I'm super excited. Wanted to do this video for a long time and uh, yeah, I'm super pumped. Let's get into it. Okay guys, I don't have every single book here with me that I'm gonna talk about today. So I'll put a picture on the screen of the ones that are missing and um, the other ones I do have here, I will show you guys on the screen. So the first book we're gonna look at or talk about here is Look Into my eyes. Now this book is um, by a guy called Dan Jones, who's not me, but he is a friend of mine, ironically. And he's also a hypnotherapist. So this book is about Asperger's syndrome, hypnotherapy, and him and his kind of life and growing up and stuff. It's actually got a five star review on Amazon, which is pretty awesome. And I think this was actually a bestseller at one time. Now Dan is an author, he has a bunch of other books out, and he has a very good insight into living with an autism spectrum condition. He was on a panel that I did in Summer in the City recently, and um, he had such a good um, insight into talking about like life and family life with being on the spectrum. So his book, I believe, is gonna be very, very useful for people who wanna just like read more about other people's lives with autism. I think like that's gonna be a really good one for you guys to get into. Okay guys, my next book here is Looking for Normal. Now, uh, Looking for Normal, is uh, this is a full title, Looking for Normal Autism and Other Complicated Stuff, which is a paperback book uh, released by a guy called Steve Slavin, or Slavin, um, and this book is basically uh, how he had this like um, lifelong battle with like depression and social anxiety, having a diagnosis of autism, and kind of like, you know, how he balanced that out and stuff like that. Really interesting book. I think he also has OCD as well, so I super relate to this guy. Um, if he had dyslexia, then, you know, we're just like the same person, basically. Uh, very cool guy. It's it's actually, this book was recommended because I bought another book, uh, which I'll get onto in a minute, um, but I feel like this one would really help people who are wanting to find someone who they can relate to and kind of share those struggles and life issues with people like that, you know, because I feel like, you know, we all need someone to, to look at and go, oh yeah, I feel like that too, or share those kind of relative issues with. I feel like that helps a lot of people, and it's therapeutic, so definitely check that book out. Oh guys, all the links for the books are in the description below, so make sure you go check them out if you want to buy one. The link is directly there to go straight to Amazon and buy it. Okay guys, number three is a uh, book which is very close to my heart. Number three is actually Become the Force by me, Daniel Jones. So uh, yeah, this is my book called Become the Force. Now the reason I put this book in here, um, and it's it's a Star Wars based philosophy book, and you might be like, what has this got to do with autism? Well the book does two things. One, it's talking about how like uh, the Jedi and Star Wars have like a philosophy that can help your life, but on the other side it talks about me growing up with autism and like, how uh, Star Wars was like an escape route for me and how I learned certain things through Star Wars and how I feel like escapism 
fandom and franchising and obsessions are really good for people on the spectrum so definitely check this book out if you want to get it you can actually get it in Hungarian and Italian and there's also an audiobook version available and you can get it on Kindle as well um, so yeah definitely check out my book I'm super proud of this it's my first ever book my first ever publication and it was actually on a publisher as well Watkins Media super pumped link is in the description below please let me know if you already have this I know I've signed a few of these when people come see me at like conventions and cons and stuff like that so thank you so much for that okay guys let's move on to the next book okay so uh, this is number four and you remember I was talking to you about uh, a book that was recommended to me uh, called that looking for normal it was recommended to me whilst I was buying another book so the book I was buying whilst I was recommended uh, that it was actually this book and now this book is the reason I jump now the reason I jump uh, was a book that we bought because Naomi my partner um, studied this when she was in university because she's got like a degree in childhood studies on about autism and Asperger's and so she bought uh, this book called the reason I jump by somebody called Nayako Naki Higashida okay I'm very dyslexic so if, if I pronounced this wrong then I'm so sorry um, and this was actually I think this was, uh, this was dictated by uh, Noaki uh, no Noaki uh, and then there's a guy called like David Mitchell who actually kind of like translated this and put it into like actual uh, word context because it's about a person who is autistic and them expressing the reasons why they do things like you know why do they stim why do they jump why are they uh, seem to be misbehaving and all those kind of things and it's fascinating it was the first time somebody um, of an autism spectrum condition had put the stuff into words like that it's just amazing and it was a very eye-opening book I mean they use it in academia this book is like super super dope so I would definitely recommend checking this book out um, I think you can get it relatively cheap uh, now because it's like you know mass produced it's very very good though I highly recommend it okay so number five this book just jumped out on me when I was researching books uh, for people on the spectrum I wanted to find books that would relate to parents as well because I know a lot of my viewers are parents and I wanted to reach out to you guys directly and give you something that you could uh, take to help improve uh, your life as well so this is called autism how to raise a happy autistic child now I think this is just on Kindle I'm not entirely sure the author is Jesse Hewitson and um, the book is super cool it looks very good the cover looks amazing and it's kind of like a sat nav what they describe as a sat nav for being like a parent uh, you know and navigating your way around uh, having an autistic kid and the funny thing about it is like it's got how to raise a happy autistic child and everyone wants to raise their kids to be happy that's the reason you know you're, you're doing your best at like parenting so this book uh, would be definitely recommended for any parents out there looking for a book to get into or if you're not even a parent yet and you're thinking about having kids in the future and you're on the spectrum and you you know you're, you're worried that or maybe you have an autistic child and you're worried about having an autistic child but you shouldn't be worried because there's awesome things like this book and you that can help navigate people through that so yeah definitely check out this book I found this one quite an interesting one to check in and it seems to have really good reviews it has 55 reviews on Amazon and there's like a 4.5 uh, star mark on it which is pretty decent okay so number six this one was really really fun um, I wanted to make sure I had a selection of different books in this video now this book is kind of aimed at children uh, or young people and this book is called the survival guide for kids with autism disorders or autism spectrum disorders oh and it also has in brackets and their parents so I guess parents could read this book as well so I think this is like an all-rounder kind of like goes for the parents it goes for the kids I feel like you can you know chop and change between them because I feel like parents are going to benefit from it as well but one of the things the reasons that I chose this book is because I wanted to find a book that you know younger people on the spectrum could find a book that they related to and they could have fun with as well because you know we all you know we're all at different ages in our life you know and so some books aren't always at the same level as other people so this one was written by Elizabeth Verdick and um, yeah it's a like a positive straightforward book uh, that offers uh, kids with autism spectrum disorders their own comprehensive resource for both understanding the condition and finding tools to cope which I feel it's super beneficial I, I, I highly recommend checking this out if you're a kid or you have kids and you want to recommend good books to your kids why not also if anyone's watching and you like work in a school maybe get this book in it might be kind of really good for the kids to read it okay guys so the last book number seven now this book actually fell into my lap almost literally so I did a, a, a sponsored video with a, a company called Sunday Says uh, or Sundays or Sunday I can't remember what they were called anyway the company sent me a bunch of stuff to review and I did the review but they also sent me this book now this book is called living well on the spectrum uh, how to use 
your strength to meet the challenges of Asperger's syndrome slash high functioning autism, uh, Valerie Goss, PhD. Now, she actually signed this and gave me like a little note inside this book. It was really nice of them to send it to me. And they wrote this like note and everything inside this book. Um, I didn't know what to expect from it, but it's it's very comprehensive. It's it's a great way to um, help somebody who's feeling like, uh, you know, less confident, should I say, uh, at the moment, or someone, anyone on the spectrum who feels like they're kind of not at a loss, but like they're, they're not as confident as you want them to be. They feel like they're a bit of an outcast and things like that, because we've all been there. I felt like that as well. And so this book was very interesting. And this is not the first time I've seen this book. Actually, one of my fans, uh, Holly, her name was, she came to my um, talk in Birmingham and, and uh, she was talking to me and she had this book as well. And she's been going through these different things as well. So I find out that this is pretty awesome. And um, yeah, there's so many activities in this book. I found it just super amazing to share this with you. And like, hey, they, they sent it to me. I just felt so like blessed that someone would want to send me this book. I haven't gotten around to reading all of this yet. I've actually breezed through it quite a bit uh, and I haven't done any of the tasks in there, but maybe I should definitely do some of the tasks sometime soon. But look, it's a decent big book. And if you're interested, it's written by a doctor. I think it's really good. They were really nice to send me this book and she's lovely. She sent me like a really nice note and uh, she enjoys the work we do on the channel. So I thought I would put a book in there because I really think this could help some people who are looking for like strategies and things to like activities within a book. That's like super awesome. Like activities in the book, you don't see those these days. And you know, these are just a small snapshot of some of the books that are available. And I just wanted to give you seven of the ones that I picked out right now. I think are just like the best ones that you could buy right now. If you guys have any suggestions, I'd love to know. So pop it in a comment in the comment section below because I read every single comment and I respond to every single one. And I'd love to open that dialogue with you. Also guys, if you want to see another book review of like a, you know, a, a more, a 10 more books or like seven more books, let me know in the comments. I'd love to know because if you're enjoying this type of video, I'd love to know too. Okay guys, we're gonna leave it there right now because I've got loads of stuff to do, but I'll see you next time guys. Peace.